we're going to be listening to all of Speak Now, Taylor's version by Taylor Swift for the first time. Yes, I flopped as a child and as a person in general, but we're finally getting to it. So don't shout at me because this album is so long. One hour, 44 minutes is the length of a movie. We're basically watching a movie. I thought I was skipping that. No, we're not. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited to finally listen to Taylor Swift. It's been too long. I've, I feel like such a fake fan this entire time having that al- that poster up there and people being like, oh, a Swifty. No, no, I'm a fake. It's embarrassing, but I'm finally writing my wrongs. I'm going to listen to Taylor Swift. Let's jump in. I think I know this one though. I think I've heard this one. Like, There's a few that I have obviously heard, like Enchanted. Sparks Fly, maybe. I know this song. Oh, she's got so many iconic bops. Like, I think I've not heard these songs. I've watched me be like, oh, I know this. Like, I would have probably heard half this album. I've been striving so long to listen to her albums. I've just been putting it off for a reaction because I like doing this with you guys. But it's been a long time coming. Oh, we do. This relates too much. Oh, no. Not that screaming at me right now. I love that line. You made a rebel of a careless man's careful daughter. Poet. They should just like print out all her songs in a poetry book. I'm so serious about that. We're only into the first song as well. I'm gonna be ranking the songs as I go on the notes app. <laughs> So, is this, what album is this? Sparks Fly? I think, or Speak Now? Oh God, Fearless? This is such a good little bob. Okay, this is getting a solid eight out of 10. That was such a strong start. Eight out of 10. Damn, I feel like I said nothing because it was just vibes. It was just pure vibes. It was so good. What's this one now? Sparks Fly? See, I feel like I must have heard this one at some point in my life. Mm, Not familiar so far, but maybe the chorus. Ooh, Poet. Wasn't she like 15 when she wrote this album? Shakespeare was shaking. I just know it. Ooh. Oh, I know this one. (laughs) Yeah, no, I definitely bopped this a bit when I was younger. But don't worry, it's not like I know the entire album. It's just the hits, I guess I know. But then it's the entire album hits. I think people hate on Taylor, but the one thing you definitely cannot take away from her is her lyricism. Is that even a word? I'm no lyricist. But she is like her songs are so descriptive it's like insert yourself it's like reading it sounds bad in this wattpad but i feel like i'm seeing a whole story and you know what there's really talented wattpad writers anna todd maybe not talking about you i'm so sorry but <laughs> like this whole song has been a little movie in my head so far Like, who at 15 is writing that line? I'm captivated by you, baby, like a fireworks show. 15, I was hanging up posters on my wall. That's all I was doing. Oh, I feel like I've been missing out so much by not listening to Taylor Swift and I'm finally doing it in this song. You know, it's going to be on rotation. This whole album, hopefully, we'll see. Ooh, this is such a strong start. I think this is another 8 out of 10. It just has to be. Ooh, up next, back to December. I'm very interested to listen to this one because I think it's about Taylor Lautner. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mr. Where the hell have you been, Loka? Taylor. Taylor and Taylor. <laughs> and it's so nice that he's like one of the only boyfriends that they're on, well, ex boyfriends that she's on good terms with because he was at her show the other night. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard this one. This is a new one. I feel like I need to get the flashlight out, but will that blind my camera? I don't know. Because the last time you saw me, it still burned in the back. Oh, the pain! 
Oh, this is a beautiful song. Oh my god, it's so dark in my room anyway. You can't tell because of the ring light, but this is such concert vibes for me. Oh, I love this song already. Ooh, it's too good. Like, it's so adorable and so sad and so beautiful. It's making me think of a heartbreak I don't have. Ooh. This is time for me to get the Yeehaw boots on. It's not realising that the grass was not greener somewhere else. It was great where it was. Oh, my arm's tired. <laughs> Tan skin, that's just... It's him. We know it's him. Everyone else that she's dated has been like pale male stale. the second chance she never got oh the little bells now talk about an emotional song okay that's gotta be <clears throat> am i too qu like quick to give it a 10 out of 10 i think it's a 10 out of 10 ooh, ooh, first 10 out of 10 <clears throat> i'm not even sorry i think that's a 10 out of 10 stay pressed i think most people would agree i can't believe i've gone like this long without hearing that kind of rude okay speak now oh title track another kind of girl i'm wearing a gown shaped like a pastry pastry a gown shaped like a pastry who is thinking of that line like i'm a hungry person but i wouldn't think of that icon that's why she's built different Wait, is she talking about being in love with someone who's about to get married? Or is she telling her friend to get out? I don't know, but we'll find out maybe. I don't have really deduction skills. Mmm, mmm. That was so deep and like so detrimental to her at that age. Confirmation. She spelled it out for me, thank God. Old scandal. And the way she said, don't you? I love that. The way it was spoken. That would slap so hard live. Oh, I love that guitar style where they like are picking two strings and like pick slap, pick slap. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know the technical term, but I like it. <gasps> this is so, um, you belong with me coded. Okay, are people going to hate me for this? I know what my rating for this one is. It just came to me and I'm going to trust my gut. And I said 6 out of 10. I'm so sorry. But hey, that's not really a flop. It's just not as likely to listen again. Dear John. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you have to live under a rock to not know this is about John Mayer. Don't even want to say that name, but... Like, I think everyone and their mothers and their unborn children know who this is about. Oh, if I can get the torch out again. Is it having to tiptoe around someone? Physically and literally and mentally and emotionally? She was just a pawn in his game. At least that's how she felt. And feelings are valid. Ooh, he sucks. <laughs> yeah, cool him out. What was that age cap? What? How old was she? Someone let me know down below, because I don't know that part of the story. But I love that she called him out in this song. Well, it wasn't on her to know, though, was it? Was it? Girlie, don't blame yourself. It's the musty man. There we go. That's what I want to hear. Okay, there we go. There's the answer. Now I need to know how old he was. I fear it wasn't a good age gap. Ooh, he burnt out there, spark. Sparks fly who? Not with John. Oh my god, I 
But I took your matches before fire could catch me. All of this, all the lyricism. I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot during this little album listening party. All breath control. Mm-hmm. I love that because originally she said I should have known and now it's come back and she knows that he should have known. Eight out of 10. Solid eight out of 10. We're yet to have a nine out of 10. Oh. Yes, end it, calling him out like that. Oh, that was so great. It went on a whole journey, that song. I think that's the thing as well with lots of Taylor Swift songs. They go on a whole journey. It started with her being like the naive one and thinking she should have known. Then she realized, no, flip it around. He should have known. <gasps> I'm gonna just rank this right here, right now. Mean, 10 out of 10. Why you gotta be so mean? This song was so iconic, I think, during the time, and even now. But this is such like a little girl boss empowerment moment. It's a girl boss girl slay song anthem for anyone. It was like, haha, I can do this. And if you were being bullied, it was probably a great song for you. Can't relate. But there are definitely people that I didn't like and didn't like me and said no. And I was like, no. And this song's my anthem. <laughs> and also on a small scale, I'm by no means a big creator. But this song relates because people who never talked to me at my old school did hit me up once I started to do well on my channel. So that was interesting. Okay, this is a song that I never want to end and I will replay it all day, every day. I can't wait to just listen to this all the time again. Also, the reason why I didn't listen to Taylor for so long was because she didn't own the other albums, so I didn't listen to them. So I've taken a long Taylor Swift break, but we're finally back. I can't wait to just like completely thrive in life now. Okay. The story of us. Oh, this is a upbeat start. I don't think any of them so far have been this upbeat at the beginning. She was like, I'm a rock chick. I'm just a rock chick. I think this song could like solve divorce. Do we really need therapy or do we need this song? Huh? <laughs> Next chapter. Oh, icon. This song is in chapters. The visionary. And you're doing your best to avoid me. Is this song much like the story of a lot of our parents? <laughs> I think it's a very relatable song. A lot of us have seen this happen with the people around us. <clears throat> I kind of wish she said next chapter again. I love that little bit. <laughs> the battles in your hands <gasps> so he's given up. The other side is given up. Like she's willing to work on this. Girl boss, girl slay. I still stand by my first point that this could solve divorce. I don't think I'm wrong. Like sit people that are breaking up in a room together with this song playing on repeat. Oh, hit those notes. This has got to be, okay, so our first nine out of 10. I think there's the up ness of it really got me as well. And just the story and the arc of it. The end. The end, okay. That could have been 10 out of 10 material, but I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because, I mean, like it's a bop, but it's not 10 out of 10. But then I'm rethinking that because of the the end the end because it's also the end of the relationship wow this feels like um like your big sister singing to you you're in the car on the way to the movies and you're mortified your mom's dropping you off good luck charlie coded good luck charlie <laughs> I'm fine. Midlife crisis. I think it's just like the longer this song goes on, the more it hits. Mm. 
the line about dad get home though can't really relate I tuck myself in and turn my night light on. this is gonna give me an emotional breakdown because relatable how did she write this like so young and it's so reflective of your 20s and even you want to i think that's a solid 7 out of 10 bruh she's not flopped yet because nothing's below a 5 out of 10 Just never grow up. oh that was so sweet 7 out of 10 across the boards midlife crisis emotional crisis emotional breakdown we're all getting older we can't stop it Oh, oh, everyone knows this one. Enchanted, here we go, girlies. This is one that I've listened to like at least three times and then obviously you can't escape it on social media. Everyone plays that little snippet at the end. I'm gonna rank this one immediately now because I know this song and I've heard this song. We'll still vibe to it together, but it's a 10 out of 10. Is that an unpopular opinion? I don't see how it could be. Oh, I love the strumming of the guitar as well. It's so gentle. Imagine being the person she wrote this about though. Are you okay? Because this song is a bop. I love how well. she's gone like up. She's like singing higher. I really hope I get the chance to hear this live. It's nice well because she's been singing this like every night on her tour. She finally owns it. We are now on to Better Than Revenge. Ooh. This is kind of giving skater boy energy. I'm a rock chick. Skater boy. Taylor's version. But it was only just that intro. Isn't this where the whole um, controversial lyric change has come in? I think it's here. Isn't the Moth to the Flame supposed to be Joe Jonas? See, I'm up to date. I know what's going on. Embarrassing if it's not that. But wasn't it originally like she's on his mattress or something? Girl, if you're mad, be mad. I think she should have kept the lyrics. I agree with everyone else. If you're mad, stay mad. If that's how you genuinely felt, I love that for you. Go slay. Yeah. <laughs> I love as well how the things in brackets it's like she's speaking through a phone okay controversial con i feel so bad saying this i'm gonna rank it five out of ten i'm so sorry i'm all for girl boss girl beat up you know girl be angry but so far out of all of the songs on the album it's my least favorite there's just something about it. It was funny because it was upbeat. It was groovy. It had like skater boy undertones. But it wasn't for me. No. But hey, a 5 out of 10. It's there. We finally got a 5 out of 10. What's this one? Innocent? We're like at the halfway mark now of the album as well. Just keep that in mind. So is there going to be like a tonal shift? Maybe. Because this is a very like ballady, soft, slow song. Oh my god, this is the same kind of vibe as Never Grew Up, isn't it? Okay. Okay, well, there's hope. Okay, good, you know what? She said, nah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no midlife crisis is here. There's hope. It can get better. Again, this is big sister energy. Life really is a tough crowd. Ooh. Oh, can I relate to that line though? I have a new thought every day about what I'm doing. I really like how the instruments are all clashing together in that moment with like the drums. It kind of sounds like a thunderstorm on the way. Whilst I appreciate the message of this song and the reflection against 
never grow up or never grew up it's still gonna be a five out of ten to me because in this part of my life i'm not gonna listen to this much i will in preparation if i get tickets to a concert but it's not gonna be a repeat for me basically anything five or ten and under is probably not gonna be much of a repeat okay haunted here we go <gasps> Is that a violin? I'm already loving this so much. Ooh, this is dramatic. Oh, it's got like, the marching boy kind of drumming going on. Oh, this one's a bop already. Mm. Oh, this is a good one. This is a bop. Best believe this is a repeat one. I'm just loving that instrumental in the background of like the violin. I'm pretty sure it's a violin. Oh, the drama. Her voice also just sounds so nice in this one. This is like a country rock song. <laughs> like, look at this guitar solo. Oh, I love this. Just her vocals and the drums and the violin or keyboard in the background. This song just got better and better as it went. It started so strong and I didn't know if it could get better and it did. 9 out of 10. That's what I've ranked it. 9 out of 10. That's such a bop. That is going to be on repeat. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was too good. Okay. Last. Kiss. That piano just then, that didn't it remind me of um, Christina Perry, A Thousand Years. Right? Right? It was one of the songs that was in Twilight. Maybe not that one. Mm, I think it wasn't actually that one. It was in Breaking Dawn though, I'm pretty sure that song. Either way, it relates to Twilight. <laughs> So we had a really upbeat, like haunted. It wasn't even upbeat, but it was rock pop, country rock. Now we toned it down again, stripped it back. Also, I realized that the piano right now reminds me of like raindrops or teardrops. Speaking of, <laughs> maybe it is supposed to be reminiscent of rain. <gasps> this kind of links to haunted. I get why this is positioned where it is. No, this is so sad. <sighs> Gonna give me a breakdown. They <laughs> just smile through it. Time to bring out the flashlight. I'm tearing up over here. And I can't cry because I don't want to. Just, just suck it back in. <laughs> No. Okay, but why so sad? Why? Why does she attack us like this? Pain. It's all good here. Just girly things. This song is just me fighting for my life to not cry. I mean, it's got to be like an 8 out of 10. It's moved me in ways I didn't know. Ah, we made it and we didn't cry. Like, we welled up and there were tears, but none of them spilled. That doesn't count. They didn't spill. Doesn't count. That's what the rules are. Don't make them. It's just, if you know, you know. The girlies that get it, get it. And those that don't, don't. What's this one called? Long live. Long live. I'm sorry, but after listening to this album so far, you cannot convince me she is overrated. Like the song she's writing and the way she can clearly get across her feelings and then put them onto you as well. Icon. There's a reason why she's as big as she is and it's not just because she's overrated. Like there's a whole reason she's where she is now. Oh, this chorus is a moment. <laughs> this song's a cute little moment so far though not as inclined to repeat but it's definitely not a five out of ten it's between the six and seven but we'll see where this goes and whether it gets to six or a seven i mean crowds do be go wild for you now miss taylor swift if you aren't aware oh harmonies 
The drums were really prominent in this song. I love that line, fighting dragons with you. I think because I'm a fantasy girly. I love fantasy novels. I wrote my own one. I've wrote two of my own. Okay, long live. Gonna get a six out of 10. There wasn't really anything that gripped me as it went on still, like nothing really pushed it into the seven out of 10 for me. Oh. Oh, that's very specific. You would know, that's about you. <laughs> she said he's got that. Toothy grin. <laughs> okay, I rate this one a 4 out of 10. It's not bad. I get why people would like it, but for me, it's not really going to be one that I go to listen to. It'll probably be a skip on the album. I'm sorry. It's going to be my skip of the album. Superman. Oh, they come right out with the title of the song. I like when they do that and it's not just in the chorus. Depending on how the chorus goes, this has such a potential to be such a bop. Hmm. Hmm. See, I don't know where to place this one so far. I'm just gonna have to wait it out and see what else this song brings. Cause right now, it's sitting in the four or five category. I'm loving the drums though again. Yeah, she said, let her fall. Peasant. Again, she was so down bad in this whole album. Ah, it gets worse. Little pop culture knowledge, but it's kind of funny that Olivia Rodrigo also said that her first song she wrote, I think, was called Superman as well. Interesting. I'm not trying to pit two women against each other. I'm not trying to do that. Just I was watching the 73 questions with Olivia Rodrigo because I'm an Olivia Rodrigo stan. And um, yeah, just something I thought of there. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. This is, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Oh my god, featuring Fallout Boy? Excuse me. Is Country Rock Taylor back? I can't believe it says featuring Fallout Boy. I did not expect that. Okay, bit of a long intro. How long was that intro? 30 seconds. Is that a long intro to you? To me it is. I'm very interested though to hear the like Fallout Boy part of this. That's like such an interesting pair to put together. But I'm really liking the vibe so far. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fall Out Boy part. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it now that I'm actually listening to it. I think I'd prefer Taylor singing this, but I wouldn't have minded it if he was also like harmonizing with her. I think that's the approach I would have preferred. I just don't, know, I don't think his voice gives the way her. There we go. See, that was much better. But yeah, I definitely prefer Taylor's voice to sing this song. That works though. I mean, Taylor's really giving in this song. I'm not coming for Mr. Fall Out Boy's neck, but she's definitely carrying this song. I might just be really harsh though at the end of this album, but I feel like this is another five or six. Electric Touch gets a six out of 10. Did Mr. Fall Out Boy maybe dampen the spirits of it a little bit? But it's okay, because Taylor sung basically 90% of it. As I said, she carried it on her shoulders. And that was for better, not for worse. <laughs> What's next? When Emma falls in love. Isn't this about Emma Stone falling in love with Andrew Garfield? Oh! When Emma falls in love, she paces the floor, closes the- Why did that give me like Rocket Man vibes? Or Piano Man, or whatever one is. Is that an easy A reference? Got a pocket, 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 pocket full of sunshine. Oh my god, I'm having a stroke. I've got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Miss Emma in an easy A. I've not seen that, but I've seen that clip. Oh, this is such like a love note to her bestie. This is so adorable. Imagine being Emma and knowing she wrote this about you because marry Taylor immediately. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but this is such a bestie. Yeah. Amazingness. Talented, brilliant, incredible, Fabulous. amazing. Stunning. Like Emma doesn't need, Emma doesn't need like a Tinder profile or anything that the celebs use. She just needs to send them this song and be like, hey, this is about me. Wow, she's just really hyping up her bestie. 
eyes like a man turns out her heart fits right in the palm of his hand is that andrew garfield is that mr andrew garfield i hate to speculate but is it i think it is i miss them okay solid eight out of ten that was so wholesome so adorable bestie slay i just don't know how you ever get over the fact that she taylor swift wrote a song like that about you this is such a different vibe to the entire rest of the album because these are songs that she didn't originally release like this one is maybe maybe not i don't know i'm not up to date in everything taylor swift Ooh. I'm liking this fresh kind of different sound though. Ooh, ooh. This is such an interesting vibe. It's just so distinguishable compared to the rest of the album. Like it's really identifiable as a different song. That all the others fit into that same tone. Why oh, this is so slay? Because I girl slay, so sexy. I don't know, am I reading it wrong? It's just giving me those vibes and I love it for that. Ooh. This guitar moment, mm, this instrumental. 10 out of 10. That being said though, the entire song, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Some of these might change after I'm done with this reaction and I listen to the album on my own. That tends to happen, but this is a really solid album. Okay, next up we have Castles Crumbling featuring Hayley Williams, aka Miss Paramore, aka Miss Legend, aka Miss Icon. Oh, I like this one so much so far. And I know Miss Hayley Williams is not gonna miss. I think this will go so well on a rainy day. Or if I wanna write, I'm gonna write my book to this one. Like my character's dark moment, this could work. Like when everything's going wrong. Oh, this could be such a good one to listen to. That's my girly. I love her voice so much. Mm, such a good voice. Hayley Williams. I don't want to say it's underrated, but I think she is in some regards. I don't think she's talked about enough. I think I think her vocals are kind of slept on just a tad. She really does have such a strong, powerful, impeccable voice. Oh, I really like this one. I didn't expect it when I first heard it start at the beginning. I wasn't quite sure, but now, Bob, I like it. I think also because Hayley Williams is a part of it and I like anything that Hayley Williams does. I love as well the backing vocals. It's very fantasy-esque. Kind of also reminds me of Glimmers of Safe and Sound. Hmm, okay, okay. I think that's a solid seven out of 10. If I was rating it on fantasy inspiration it'd be an 11 out of 10 because that's given me so many things to think about with my book and i love that especially book two because i'm writing a trilogy much to think about hopefully if you ever get to read it one day you'll know where that song fits in okay okay i think we're on to second to last now yeah we only got two more left now next one is foolish one and chances are i will talk myself to sleep again oh girly but that's not the worst thing in the world to be fair i love how she was so much of like a hopeless romantic like she was almost the definition and again let's say it together she was down bad in this entire album that also kind of ties into the whole innocence and never growing up thing she had as well intertwined in this album i kind of wish wish it hit a bit harder there when it went into the chorus <gasps> bridge here we go her bridge is always slap oh oh that hits deep oh that's harsh actually you know what i can see myself just walking around listening to this in my headphones i'm a sucker for a little la 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 <laughs> okay this is gonna get a six out of ten like i appreciate it for what it is and if it was to come on rotation i would not skip but i would not go out of my way to go and listen to it either that's the difference between so that's why like where the four and sixes that range sits compared to like seven out of ten to ten out of ten I just, that's how i think i judge it's like am i gonna listen to this again and reach for it okay now we are on to the final song timeless i'm very interested to see how she closes out the album it's very stripped back just guitar and vocals the block, an shop, and 
Okay, in comes the drum. And her vocals just sound so crisp and clear and so pure like this song. Again, this is such a descriptive song that it just plays a movie in your head and I love those kind of songs. See, I love as well how this is a different kind of like chorus. It's changed again. It's a different story because it's progressed. But it still follows the general idea that they were meant to be in whatever universe there was. All the guitars building up and the drums. Box with the photos. She brought it back full circle. Lyricist of a generation. I think as well that's why some of her songs are so emotional because they go on a journey. It's like reading a story because it plays out in front of you. It was fate. Okay, and that brings us to the end of Sparks Speak Now. Oh god, I couldn't even do that right. Okay, Timeless is gonna get, I'm, I'm just juggling between six and seven. I'll give it a six out of 10. Okay, we've got our rankings. I will put up all of my rankings. I think it's safe to say that the first half was a lot stronger for me than the second half. But overall, this album is very well written, very well put together. I get the Taylor Swift hype, that's a great album. There's only like three songs that I didn't vibe with that much compared to the rest. Let me know what your favourite songs from the album are as well. And let me know if you want me to listen to more of Taylor Swift's albums because I've not listened to any of the other ones now. This is my only one that I've listened to all the way through. So yeah, we can do more if you want it. But for now, I will go and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!